Hi, welcome back to another episode of Easy As That. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Zoom on a computer. What you want to start off by doing is searching up Zoom Download on your web browser. A few options that come up should look a little like this. Click Download. Here it should take you to a website that should look like this. Now this website should automatically download Zoom for you. If you're not on this website though, don't worry. There is a few other ones that look similar to this, just like this one here, but it will do the same thing. If you're on this one, just click download. All right, so now once you've clicked download, in the top right hand corner of Safari, you should see the download symbol. In downloads, open the one that says zoom.package. Now this should open something on the desktop of your computer. If it asks, just click continue. Now, wait a few minutes and then Zoom should pop up. And there, now we can start to create our account. Now what you want to do is click sign in and then click sign up for free. This should take you to Safari where you need to put in your email address. Once you've put it in, click sign up. Once you do that, it will say that we've sent a confirmation email to the address. So now what you want to do is go to your email address and then you should have an email that looks like this. Click activate account. Now that link should take you to a page where you put in your first and last name and then the password you want to use. Then click continue. Here this is optional but you can invite other people from your school or workplace to join Zoom with you. Once you put their emails in, click I'm not a robot and then click invite. Now you can just close the tab. Now, go back into the Zoom app and type in your email and password you just created. Now click sign in. You should get a screen that looks a little like this. And if you'd like to join someone's meeting, click the join button and then put in the code that they gave you. Now click the join button. Here, it will load for a bit and then you'll be asked for a password. Put that in as well. If this is the first meeting you've joined, it will ask for access to your camera and microphone. Just click OK. Then click join with video and now it will load for a bit and then you'll be asked to join with computer audio or not. Just click join with computer audio. And now I'm going to show you how to see everyone in your meeting. What you want to do is go up to the top right hand corner and you should see a button that says gallery view. When you click on this you should see everyone in your meeting. If you'd like to change back to just the person that is speaking at the moment, go back up and click speaker view. Alright, and now I'm going to show you a cool trick to make sure no one can see what's behind you. All you need to do is go to the video button and next to it should be an arrow. If you go up that, it should say choose virtual background. Once you're in here, you can choose from a couple of backgrounds or you could even import your own with the plus button or you could use a green screen like I have done. There's so many options. When you have this feature enabled, it will show your face, but everything else besides that will just be the background that you chose. And let's say that you wanted to show all the other people in your meeting what's on your screen, you can click the green share screen button and then choose the desktop that you want to show. Now everyone on your meeting can see what you want them to see. So you could search something up on Google and they could see it or you could show them maybe a presentation that you've been working on and if you go back up to the top you can click stop share. This will end it. Alright and let's say you were wanting to find out how to start a meeting yourself. Click the new meeting button and then it should show a picture of your webcam. Now it should just say connecting and in a few seconds it will ask you to join with computer audio. Click that button. Now once you have your own meeting, what you want to do is go down to the bottom and click invite. Once you're in that menu, you should see the code that people need to join up the top and then the meeting password that they want down the bottom. Send both of these to them as I'll need both to get in. If you'd rather just email them directly from Zoom, you can click the email tab and then the email you want and then just type in their contact and you're done. In Zoom, it's as easy as that. 
if you need any more help, just comment it down in the comments. And if you need further help, maybe check out my live helpline on my channel.